Hi, NPI brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you so much, DigiKey, for making this segment possible. CY Devices is this week's INMPI. This is a new product introduction. That's what NPI stands for. Lady Ada, what is the new product? Okay, new product this week is Loud and Proud. This is COI Devices Illuminated Buzzer Series, which is kind of like a brilliant idea. Um, kind of surprised nobody's come up with this before. Um, but and not no surprise, CUI is really good at making. Um, they're like I really like their products. They're always making high quality and innovative stuff. Um, so these are buzzers that also have LEDs built into them. So if you already have a design that has either LEDs or has a, you know a sound effect, now you can do both without having to drill two holes in your enclosure or uh, changing your PCB design. Um, so there's three sets of versions of this illuminated buzzer. So the first one um, is the PC pin version. So it's, uh, you know, red, yellow, green, blue LED variants. Uh, you have to pick which one. It doesn't do multiple, multiple color. And it has solderable pins that you just solder in or put into a breadboard just like you would a normal buzzer. And, um, you know, LEDs light up when you um, uh, apply three, I think it's like five to 15 volts, 12 volts is nominal. Um, it's very loud. Uh, the LEDs light up. There's also a version that beeps and blinks. So it's not continuous tone. It's like on and off every second. And I actually, I think I have one of those. I can demo them. There's also a um, 23 millimeter diameter. Uh, maybe it's 32. I don't remember. It's one or the other. Um, the, the PC pin is 13 pin, uh, 13 millimeter. I think these are, yeah, this is like a 23 millimeter diameter. Panel mount, they look a little bit like arcade buttons. And I'll show those also, I have one of those as well. Also available in red. The yellow kind of looks greenish, but it's red, yellow, green, and blue. And then there's a larger panel mount one that's like flatter. Um, it's not as rounded on the top and it's bigger, it's 36 millimeters. So four versions, four colors. So like 16 uh, total versions available. And these are pretty loud. Um, even the PC pin one, I think is 83 dB. The panel mount ones can go up to 100 dB if you give them 15 volts, but they're like, even without, they're like 95 dB. So they're like hand drill, tractor, noise level. They're quite loud. Um, so definitely will get people's attention. So um, the small one will give you, uh, you know, you don't PWM it. You just provide, you know, 6 to 15 volts, typical 12. 4 kilohertz audio, 83 dB. Um, you hand solder them. They're not washable. It, you know, it's standard PC uh, pin layout. Like every buzzer has, you know, this kind of diameter and uh, pin spacing. Um, the the loudness does vary with, and the, you know, current draw up to 15 milliamps does vary with voltage. So, you know, you can do as little as six volts. Uh, it'll draw about five milliamps, but it won't be as loud. And this is the panel mount version. I actually kind of like the panel mount version um, the most. I think uh, it's you'll, you'll see it's got a nice lip and uh, easy to attach. It's got spade connectors. Uh, this one does, again, you know, 12 volts nominal, but can be powered from 3 to 15, which is a very wide range, 3 kilohertz um, speaker and 95 uh, minimum uh, sound pressure. And mechanical drawing. So this is, you know, it is a little bit like arcade buttons. It's got this body with a lip uh, that you then, you know, comes with a um, a nut that you, you know, you drill a hole 28.3 millimeters diameter. You slip this through and you tighten the nut in the back and then spade connectors on the back for connecting up power. Uh, likewise, the, the sound and uh, the sound level and the... Um, Current consumption, you know, will vary, so you can power it from a different voltage if you want it to be as loud, or just just be aware of that the current consumption will increase the more voltage you give it. And then the 36 millimeter version, again, it's it's similar style in that you drill a hole and then put this plastic nut in, but it's kind of got like a flatter top to it. Uh, same sound pressure level, 3.5 kilohertz. Um, also spade connectors, but they're offset; they're not centered. Uh, and then a bigger hole, and then likewise, um, you know, the, the performance curve will vary from three volts up to why it says one to eight at the bottom. I think that's incorrect because it should be three to twelve, three to fifteen volts, not one to eight. So I think they just forgot to relabel their x-axis. Um, and all of them are in stock. 
which is awesome and amazing. So yeah. let's go to the overhead, and I'm going to just have the most annoying demo in the universe. Beep. Yeah, just watch out, everybody. If you don't, if you don't want to hear a gigantic loud noise, this is nine volts. So this isn't even, you know, the the highest voltage. Uh, so I believe this is the line is positive. Yeah, is that loud? I don't even know if it came through because the speaker might yeah. might block it. But uh, it's loud. Uh, it's incredibly loud, and annoying. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. Uh, you can see the construction. Uh, it's a nice construction. So you know, it's got this uh, you know arcade button esque or panel mount um, mounted. It's got nice potting material here. Um, it isn't, I think, waterproof because there is a hole here for the uh, volume to come through. And then you can see the LEDs, SMT LEDs, um, all the way around. So um, this is that one. And then this is the pin mountable version, which I think this one is, this is also kind of just a, kind of cool because it's like, it's exactly the same size and shape as a normal buzzer. But you can see, in addition to the piezo element, there's a little driver chip inside, so it'll create the square way for you. And uh, there are LEDs that go around, so let me likewise try powering this, and then I hope I get the right polarity. So this one is the blinking one, so you see it's blinking and beeping, you know, one hertz approximately. Uh, and then this is yellow, and that was blue LED. So the color of the plastic determines the um, the LED color. So that's why you want to decide what color you want to match. Um, you know, the what 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 color you want because it's, it's not a new pixel or anything. You you the LEDs are the color that they are soldered in. But a wide variety available uh, from DigiKey, and they're all in stock. Yeah. So here is you can get them today. The time of this printing. I know. As they say, screenshotting. You can get them, and that is this week's INPI. Yeah. Hi, I'm MPI.